Okay. Which is how I connected with you. If we can, do you want I, to tell the people how oh we met? God. I think this is the time. <laughs> this, this is the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how I met my girls. <laughs> I was like, girl, let's do a podcast. And she was like, huh? Sema ngwe. Sema ngwe. I said ngwe. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Me had I known. Let me tell you the one fr- the the one um conversation I had with my mother mm-hmm. about losing friends. Nile mm-hmm. high school. You mm. know now what to the one you always nye 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 with. <laughs> After high school, you might never, see, never them see them again. Those one at least that one I was prepped for that mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Like in your marriage. <laughs> everyone welcome to another episode of my diaries my name is Werimo and my name is Jerry thank you so much for clicking on this episode and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do and hit that notification bell so that you know whenever we're releasing a new video and today tunaongeaju ya marafiki besides the the one for the show friends i don't know <laughs> no there is a song for Marafiki? Yes. I don't know. Rafiki. It's a Swahili song? Ah. We can make up one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really thought there was a song. I really thought there was a song. But anyway, oh. Wairimo, I yes. think we came here around the same time. We did. We and sure did. Um, I think you have a Kenyan tribe, more of a Kenyan tribe I than do. I do. Yeah. So how did you navigate? Tell the people, how did you navigate when you landed in this America? This America that you didn't even want to <laughs> be you in. Want to come? Eh? <laughs> tell them, please tell them how you created your community. First of all, let me say when I, one of again, one of the reasons why I didn't want to come here was because I thought I had a solid group of friends because mm. I can remember even just before I left, mm. they threw me this like we went some place in Loito, no, where was some, some oh, place talk, in Kajado. No, no, oh. no, some place in Kajado. Uh-huh. We chomped nyama and just spent the afternoon together. Yeah. And then we went out, you mm-hmm. know, that was my life. Yeah. So me, I was like, man, I'm leaving this group of friends that I have for this, f- you know, my Ooh, campus friends. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't feel like I wanted to leave them. Mm. So when I came here, as soon as I landed here, it was like, okay, now you're on your own. Mm. Hey, my friend, uh, it was a shock. I had to, I, I went through a season of just really being by myself because I didn't know people here. Yeah. My parents were not like very much known yet, so they didn't really have like mm. be many people that yeah. I could jump into and be friends with. My friends started when I started going to church. And the church I started with is the church I still go to till <laughs> today. <laughs> so okay. when I joined uh, Neama Gospel Church, which is pr- uh, predominantly a Kenyan church, mm-hmm. That's where all my friends started. I okay. remember my first friend, she met me. She was such a lovely, I don't want to mention her name, but she met me in the bathroom yeah. and she said hi to me because she knew I was, that was my first day. Of course, you know yeah. how they say visitors stand up. Yeah. She saw me stand up, yeah. but she was so friendly. She came to the bathroom and she was like, oh my God, welcome. Oh my God. No, 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 no. She, she was so friendly. Yeah. She ended up being my very good friend for such a long time until we kind of, Fell apart a little bit, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What about you? Hey, my story about friendships in this America. <laughs> it it I I'll say this. I went quite an unconventional way about it. Okay. Do you know this thing called dating apps? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it though. I mean, say before before I got married, you know, I was mm. just in the water, yeah. so I, you know, I had a dating app or two. Mm. <laughs> Me, I know all of them. <laughs> that will be another episode. <laughs> that will be another episode. Episode, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh huh. But yes, yeah, so I actually met my tribe through those apps okay so this is what would happen people please don't come for me please do not judge me but this is how i did it okay Mm -hmm. so basically i would swipe on somebody 
predominantly I would swipe on my fellow Africans. There's a way Africans just know each other in a foreign land. I don't know if our heads are just darker. It's the five head. <laughs> it's, it's, but not all Africans have five heads. You're right. Yeah. You're right. But there's just You're a right. way you know. You just mm. it's your African spirit connecting <laughs> with them. And we would link up for a date and mm-hmm. you know you're just talking with someone and you're like, "Ah, this one is like one of the boys." Yeah. And I was just honest with them, like, "Hey, you just want to be friends? Yeah, can we can we be friends? Like, yeah. is that is that an option on the table? Am I you? You're mm. looking for a wife?" <laughs> and uh, that's how I met a good friend of mine. His name is Sama. Okay. Shout out to Sama. <laughs> and um, he introduced me to his friends, okay. and now it's one of those. He calls me to a party, and then mm. I meet other girls like that, and. That's really how I created my tribe wow. here in this America. So it's actually a good mix of people. I have uh-huh. Ugandan, Sudanese, um, Rwandese. It's, it's, a, it's a nice That's nice. It's a nice mchanganyiko. And I think it really speaks into the extrovert that you are. Because yes. you, you, you're you like, oh, I'll introduce you to my friends and my friends become your friends. Exactly. Nah, exactly. it don't work like that for me. If I don't... I have like five friends. Yeah. I'm so introverted it hurts. I have five <laughs> friends. And if they leave me, I'm it's just me <laughs> and my husband we're done. <laughs> That's all you need sometimes. <laughs> That's all you need sometimes. I, I just don't know how to make friends. Mm. I don't. Why why do you think why do you say so? Cuz I feel like I one for me for me to really like call you my friend, mm-hmm. really friend, I have to have spent so much time with you. Mm. And then I think we can differentiate between friends and acquaintances, yeah. you know, or people you just hang out with. Mm. But if I call you my friend, yeah. we've done some some significant amount of work okay. together. We've grown, you know, you know. Plus also I really do take my time to read people. Mm. Because I have been hurt by friends before, some you know, I just I, I'm very careful. Yeah. So I you know, I'll go to a party or whatever if we meet up at a party or something i'll say hi yeah but if i don't feel like i'm vibing with you or Mm -hmm. something like out of 10 people i'll probably connect with just one okay which is how i connected with you if we can do you want to tell the people how we met i think this is the time (laughs) this This is is the the time time. (laughs) (laughs) so this is how I met my girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to insert here how we met each how other. We met each other. <laughs> oh my God. So in Jerry, I first met in Jerry at a bridal shower yes. of our mutual friend whose name is also in Jerry. Hi Jerry. Hi Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know for some reason from the moment I met her. I just felt there was just something. I was like, I told myself, this girl's gonna be my friend one day. I am. I'm, I think I'm very perceptive and very. I just perceive things quite. I can tell if we yeah. meet, when we meet, I can tell me and you are gonna be friends or me. <laughs> this is the last time I'm gonna <laughs> see you, honey. I'm sorry, but and then we met again at the second bridal shower, mm. and just hearing your thoughts and your values and everything, I'm like, our oh, values align. So there's those two things. We, I gotta feel that vibe and two do our values align because I don't I, there's no reason trying to build a strong friendship with somebody and your values yeah. don't align yeah. so I feel like our values on my one we were very young in our marriages um, and I just I just felt like man we have so much in common she is because she's extroverted I'm introverted I'm like she's she's who I would want to be if I was <laughs> extroverted <laughs> So, yeah. And then a few months later, I shoot my shot on an Instagram post. She did. I was like, girl, let's do a podcast. And she was like, huh? Sema ngwe. Sema ngwe. I said ngwe. (laughs) And here we are. (laughs) No, but honestly, Mm. when you you said that uh, on my post that, you know, we should start a podcast, Uh I was just... I was being silly, to be honest. <laughs> Me, I was just being silly. <laughs> Sema, <laughs> what's the <Sema, laughs> And Haya, Haya, we are serious. Haya. See, this guy, guys, she called me out for brunch. She said, hey, let's go for brunch. Let's analyze this. And me, I was thinking, okay. Because initially, the post was about um, the, bachelor, the, the bachelorette. Yeah, I was yeah. just saying something silly about <laughs> the guys there. And then, so me, in my head, I thought this podcast would basically just be about the love shows that we watch which it can be hence we have the girl chat at the end yeah but i feel like this has more such has better substance more substance and we have more to offer to our viewers yeah to our 
new friends and family yes. the maju di- diarians Di- we need to find a name for them by the I way diarians like they are diarians no <laughs> don't worry we shall try we will maju try. mates I, i'll start with yes. that for now mm-hmm. maju mates mm-hmm. and truly i am thankful that you shot your shot yeah. walked in obedience you know yeah. and um we, I can't wait to see where this takes us by the Me way. Me either. Hey. I just knew it was going to be something really great. I just felt it. I was like, you know what? Uh is this is going to be something great. My, mm. my you know when God gives you put something in your heart yeah. and it's just not going anywhere. Hi Toki. I was like, you know what? Let's do so this. It, it you know there's only two ways it can go. <laughs> and you never know how it's going to go. So we we here we're committed we're giving you all these gems and everything we are walking this journey with you guys so please do support us support us by subscribing but yeah going back to friendships yes the people that you say you maybe your friend Tama introduced you to yeah were you able to connect with all of them at the same time or like from there how, how do you substantiate who to continue I guess yeah. a friendship with of course when we would hang out most of the times it would be at a party okay if you know an african you know a party you know <laughs> it's not just a kickback unless mm-hmm. it's a very small number of people but yeah. a majority of the times it was a good group of people mm-hmm. and yes uh, with the ladies i was able to tell okay who would i hang out with who okay. i wouldn't hang out with mm-hmm. um and those th- those those ones they were they were just invited to parties and stuff okay. like that but in terms of like intimate brunch or dinner or something mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. now those are the ones i would like invite over to my house okay. and we would hang out and talk yeah and even when my husband came around mm-hmm. these are the people i introduced my husband to fast like okay this is what are your thoughts <laughs> well, how do you feel about this guy committee has to approve committee <laughs> yeah. like, you know because those are my guy friends yeah. you know mm-hmm. and so if they saw something i think or i would hope they would have told me like hey Jerry, by the way yeah. we don't want to interfere between you and your happiness but um you can do better yeah you know yeah um but i also had um some girlfriends at the time okay and um and now that we're here can we actually talk about and i don't know if it's happened to you can we talk about how you lose friends when you get married oh my god do i really want to go into this (laughs) i I think i think it's such a unexpected loss it is it is that i me had i known let me tell you the one fr- the, the one um conversation i had with my mother mm-hmm. about losing friends mm-hmm. nilea high school you mm. know now to the one you always nye, 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 nye. <laughs> after high school you might never, see, you them never again. see them again those one at least that one i was prepped for mm-hmm. that one mm-hmm. like in your marriage wow really yes me i think i, wasn't prepped. I knew i knew that because thankfully my best friend had gone ahead of me she had mm-hmm. been married about two three years before me yeah um so uh, b- yeah 3 years before me so i had seen mm. it through her yeah. and through our conversations i was kind of aware of what's awaiting me mm. you know because also to be in all transparency when she got married and i was single mm. our friendship kind of took a different dynamic okay so because now there's this part where and again me this is my school of thought for you to really thrive in your marriage just against my own opinion yeah. i'm not projecting it on anybody you need to major majority of the time surround yourself with people who are in the same i guess kind of season as you yeah so i saw how our friendship kind of took a little bit of a strain just a little bit yeah because now she was spending majority of her time with her I'm friends married. who are married friends yeah. right and we picked back up when i got married because okay. now we have a common more common interest yeah so i think the same thing happened to me um the number of times i spent with my single friends was a lot less yeah and so if i'm not spending time with you our friendship is not growing so it just kind of strains but yeah. i'm not saying that now you go eliminating all your yeah. single friends it, it really not it's just like majority of my time plus when you're a new relationship you're spending so much time together mm-hmm. so your time is kind of split again this is for me i'm not speaking for anyone <laughs> else but what i knew was when it comes to guy friends yeah that, for me i knew that was that was just, just gotta yeah. i cannot my, our stand this is this is what we decided me and my husband mm-hmm. I cannot have guy friends that mm-hmm. he does not know or who okay. are not part of our lives. Makes sense. 
which at the end of the day long story short i had just to cut anybody that is not talking like anybody that is not his friend yeah so i don't have any guy friends none like n- i can't say these are my guy friends i mm. really have none of those yeah none of them i have the guy friends i knew that i guess made the <laughs> past uh, uh got to progress with us into our marriage they are now more of his friends than they are my friends okay. i don't have private conversations with them yeah. i don't I it's just some um, it's just a standard I wanted to have just for the peace of my home. I just didn't want to yeah. bring issues. Really, any, any no, I don't have my friends. We all have friends together. For girls, yeah, I can keep that. Yeah, but for the guys and also him, he doesn't have Girl like friends. girl friends yeah. that he just kicks. With. No, th- mm. I'm not gonna take that. <laughs> I just this is me. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, me on the other hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think mm-hmm. okay uh, just to touch fast on about the losing friends when I got married yeah I think because of the social person I am mm. I used to be always outside okay and even when I was in a relationship with him mm-hmm. it wasn't like the invites were still coming okay. but they were not as vigorous like mm-hmm. hey, Angeli, let's go do this 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 mm-hmm. so I noticed pole pole but I was like ah you know guys are just but when I got married wow Silence. No, I had to actually have conversations with like some of my girlfriends. I was like, yo, just because I'm married does not mean my legs are stuck now. <laughs> I cannot leave the house. I still want to go brunch. True. I still want to have mimosas with my friends and mm-hmm. cackle and, you mm-hmm. know, have girl time. And also with um, one thing that stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the, the clubs. The clubs, the clubs, the clubs. Me, if you know me, me, I love to dance. Ask any of my friends. Yeah. Pre marriage, mm-hmm. because now post marriage, I've gained new friends and we haven't been to the clubs together. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> uh, but uh-huh. I love to dance. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ungeni on my body. The extrovert. Hi, yeah, Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Me give me a good blanket and a good show. <laughs> you tell me we are going somewhere and there's music. Ah, Let's me go. Yo. Let's go. Um, but for the girlfriend boyfriend type of situation, mm-hmm. my husband is very confident. Okay. In where we stand in our marriage, okay. mm-hmm. he's not dumb to the effect of. Um, he doesn't care mm-hmm. but it's one of those where he's met the guy friends that okay. i have mm-hmm. he trusts them mm-hmm. and if he feels any type of way he'll, he'll let me let know because you know, yeah. he has mm-hmm. said that about one or two people okay. and i'm like okay even if you think this but fine me i don't see it but i respect you i respect your opinion Absolutely. you're the man here yeah. you, you're uh, you know how they think exactly so exactly. i won't eh, my husband is an introvert just like you maybe that's why we get along <laughs> yeah that's why, him yes. is on his playstation uh-huh. at home he is at, he peace. Is at peace so I, and he doesn't have chick friends yeah so he's it's a win-win for me at the end of the day <laughs> your system works for your yes. relationship and that's what i'll say I g- and i feel like we're jumping into marriage but it's all related yeah. friendship ni, 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 ni. but w- the system that works for your marriage you do that yeah. as long as you're not inflicting insecurities or pain or mm-hmm. whatever it is or even disrespect to your spouse by insisting on keeping a friendship that is clearly causing yeah. issues in their relationship mm. that's that's my stand like if there's no issues if y'all together you have an agreement like let's all be friends with yeah. our friends whatever amazing but if it is an issue mm-hmm. w- um my thing is don't um like if you're gonna fall back on anything fall back f- on your marriage and not just friends choose your marriage yeah it's gonna be hard but choose your marriage over yeah like the friends but another thing about losing friends i feel like I'll, some of it is just lack of communication mm. because some some of my single friends have told me uh girlfriends actually like they they just don't know how to navigate the new dynamic yeah they're like oh i thought you wanted space i i'm like <laughs> <laughs> that's what you were saying like i ha- the only thing that has changed is my status but my love for you yes. my ne- the need to have for you yes. as a friend hasn't changed 
maybe it's different because you know th- i can't really come talk to you as much as i was talking like yeah i'm probably not gonna tell you everything or issues about my marriage or whatever with a single person yeah. i'll probably talk talk about it with someone who is married yeah but i still need you as a friend exactly. like i think it's just that communication of okay there's a new dynamic how do we navigate yeah. it yeah, yeah mm-hmm. definitely and i've i've been very vocal with uh, one of my good friends, mm-hmm. her name is Amani, mm-hmm. and we had that conversation. I was like, "Chick, listen, if it means we have to panga a brunch every month, so be it." Absolutely. And that's actually what we do. Yeah. Like at the beginning of the month, she's like, "Okay, where are we going? To end up, to nafanya nini?" And mm-hmm. it's definitely kept our friendship pushing. you right. That intentionality. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Int- my two good friends are mm-hmm. in Kenya. My best friend Laura yeah. and my other good friend. K- 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 I wanted to say Caleb because Nico up America, but at tr- at home to Namutanga <laughs> Caleb. Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> like we're so intentional with our okay. phone calls, mm-hmm. and also, I think with adulting as well, mm-hmm. it's just one of those things where you have to understand that you're not always available. You know, when we're in right. high, not high school, but even just college. Yeah. You know, like you had more availability, but, yeah. but now people are living life. Bills need to be paid. We're in two different countries and time zones. Absolutely. And, yeah. you know, there are times when my best friends are busy and mm-hmm. I'm like, imagine it's our. It's our. What, what can I do? Sasa niki catch. Alafu. And then there's that. You have to have that grown up. I they call it grown up mindset. Mm-hmm. Knowing that, as you said, your friends are not always going to be available. Yeah. But just because we haven't met up or talked, that doesn't mean to meet up friends. Mm. Like, I love you know this I love uh minimum maintenance friendships yeah. where you just pick up like it never went I have um, one of my best friends is my cousin and he's a guy yeah. he's a uh, his dad and my mama brother and sister mm. literally they follow each other and he, we've been friends for such we are cousins but we are also very good friends yeah. I love the fact that we can have two conversations a year mm. <laughs> Na mkosawa. Na tukosawa. Mkosawa. We are so like we pick up like it n- we nobody I ever went that. anywhere. Mm. Me I like low maintenance friendships. Yeah. Like just because I didn't text you or you text sent me a message but you see me on Instagram, I haven't responded to your message. I see it, I will, but that's not something to bring an issue about. Like hold on. Low maintenance. You 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 touched a source no, for me. My God. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah. Let, me, let me explain. Let me explain. I had this friend. Mm-hmm. I had this very good girlfriend of mine. Mm-hmm. She would always want us to link up. Okay. And Nizileza, I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. let's link up. Yeah. W- what are your what what days are you available? What times are you available? Mm-hmm. And what were you thinking? You know. Mm-hmm. And so let's say today today ni Monday. Yeah. yeah. It's kedo twelve one o'clock. Mm-hmm. I'm in it. I'm in it text at twelve o'clock. Hey girl, see we link up for dinner. Yeah. I'm like sure. Sure. Where do you want to go? Uh huh. A response at five o'clock. Hey, I'm just waking up. Um, I was thinking maybe somewhere in Plano, higher. So I'm like okay, Plano. I send a list of restaurants. Sangapi to Patane Sangapi. No response. No response. But you. Uh-huh. We is silent. Silent. Silence. 10 p.m. on Instagram, someone is out gallivanting. That is someone who has no respect <sighs> for you. And then you come and confront them the next day. And, and they, they tell you, ah, you know, I just lost track of time. No, you did me. not. And, eh. Well, let's not go down that road. Oh let's my not God. go down that road. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that is actually, that, that that is just disrespect, honestly. It but is. when I mean low maintenance, it's like, okay, you have to have that mutual respect of each other, yeah. knowing that even if I'm, again, probably I'm posting a meme, but I haven't responded to mm. your message, I'll get to it. I promise you, I'll get to it. Yeah, but time frame, 24 time to frame? 48 hours. <gasps> like, if Good I send know. you a, a message, ni more talking about dinner or... Just even checking oh, in on you. Okay, okay. Just checking, checking in, in on you. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. hey, Nimo, how are you doing? Nimetuma, you're 12 o'clock. I don't hear back from you by Wednesday, and you're still posting Kilakitu. Okay. Now I've caught feelings. Yeah. I'll be honest. No, now if I'm posting, I, I get you. I mm. get you. Guy, me and my best friend, we, we, are, we are horrible because <laughs> we, are, mm, <laughs> we have five to seven business days. Five we are to seven <laughs> business <laughs> days. Not allowed. <laughs> Wow. But the thing is, you know how we have like we have a conversation going on on Instagram DM, and oh, then we have okay. a conversation going on on. See phone. now, those are multiple <laughs> conversations. 
Na me I'm talking about radio silence. Yeah. No, 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 no that's Instagram na TikTok. That's disrespect. That and, is disrespect. And then not to, to add chumvi to the pain. Mm-hmm. No no ko branch ukicheka cheka na watu. That is disrespect. <laughs> I know I must speak for my I know I'm a horrible when it comes to sen- responding messages. Yeah. And I'm not going to use my child as an excuse or how busy I'm not going to. Excuse. I'm not going to use it as an excuse. I know I can definitely do a better job <laughs> at responding quickly as soon as I get a mm. message. I'm horrible at okay. that. Like I zone out sometimes like if I'm watching a show or yeah. zoned out I read the message and I'm like okay I need to respond I respond in my mind mm-hmm. and then just never text back so I am speaking on mm. behalf of mm. myself mm-hmm. we will do a better job of uh getting back sooner okay. I'm pretty sure I know two people can say I'm bad at communicating <laughs> here I, I, I know. communication is key in all friendships is, all situationships yes yes I am Nikulize anymore because you said you have a Kenyan tribe. Uh-huh. Now Wazungu. Oh my goodness! You know that I usually <laughs> say. <laughs> you know when I first got here, yeah, I was like, man, I gotta have some pictures with like. With these two things. Uh-huh. When people come to America, yeah, for for people back in Kenya to know that you really are in America, uh. they need to see a picture of you in the snow, <laughs> and two, a picture of you with white people. <laughs> Where did this come from? Because I have never, never had this. You met a queen. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Because if you, you know, those things are just show you near you in America. Yeah. You know? But me, for See, some reason. snow in Mount Kenya. Where? Mount Kenya. You climb, uh, yes. you climb all the way. And then so, you take ah. a picture. <laughs> How will you know? Do I was I? in America. Oh, in Mount Kenya, how will you know? Why? No, 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 no. So me, I actually do not have any white friends. Okay. Because again, as I say, since I came to America eight years ago, yeah, I have gone to one church mm-hmm. and one church only, mm-hmm. and that is uh, the only people I know mm. <laughs> in Kenya. The only, actually, the only non, let me say non-Kenyan people I know, yeah. I've met them through my husband. Okay. Honestly. And I don't think I have any white friends okay. at all. Is that something you're willing to change? Am I, you're just, you are comfortable with where you are with the five friends that you have? I, let me say this. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm lo- missing anything. Yeah. I'm also not like closed off. If we end up meeting a couple, because at this point, I think I'm looking for, I guess, couple friends. Or even mm-hmm. if I meet, like, some cool white girlfriends or whatever, yeah. I would love it. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's something, I just don't know where to begin because, as I said, I don't know how to make friends. I don't know. Me, I can't, I don't know how to. Be, you are the <laughs> only person I ever approached because I was like, man, this is going to be something really <laughs> great. But if I meet someone else yeah. like that and I feel like, oh, my God, this could be a really good friend, I probably would shoot my shot. Yeah. And hopefully of course I, w- I would rather them be married because mm-hmm. i feel like we can build something yeah uh, we can help each other but yeah i just don't know how to make friends okay especially but i don't know you see do we i don't <laughs> know if it's just that i've i just never care i was never in s- circles that will introduce me to white people because i went to, again i go to a kenyan church mm-hmm. i don't make friends at work that's mm. just my rule i don't make friends at work okay. like what we do at work I, I have pictures with other people at work <laughs> but it ends there to p- right to now prove to people you are you you have work <laughs> in america <laughs> right now i work remote so yeah. i don't i i just don't have i don't have i'm not in any yeah. circles that could give me maybe you can i don't know i don't know how do you how how lesson do you number one have <laughs> <laughs> do no Okay, so for me, it's been, it's been, yeah. When I came, I did try to integrate myself with the white people. Okay. Just to see what are they about, what's their vibe. Okay. And then just to throw in there, enough people, no, enough, let me say, uh, three people mm-hmm. told me, Mimi, nakwona na mzungu, you, you look <laughs> like you'll marry a white man, <laughs> wewe. So now in the back of my head, like whenever mm-hmm. I met mm-hmm. even a white guy, I was mm-hmm. like, is it you? Is it you? you were, were. <laughs> <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me, for the few that I did try to befriend mm-hmm. earlier on in my journey in America, mm-hmm. it was just awkward okay. because 
one there was that learning curve of i'm just coming from kenya mm-hmm. now i'm in Ima- i'm in america yeah two hey our struggles are different <laughs> our Tell struggles are different <laughs> And I'm not uh-huh. saying that we can't relate or anything because mm-hmm. I in my former workplace I did um really connect with one girl. I was actually uh, I actually attended her wedding this year. Okay. And so it is possible. Mm-hmm. It's just even sometimes when I had conversations with her I'm like, "Wow, this is this is your mentality on this." Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And she was a work friend. Okay. And like beyond that i can't really say we bonded more after work mm-hmm. no N- and and it's it's just we have different struggles and different it's not just about the struggles but even the things we relate about yeah it's like what i know yeah. okay and do, you, and do you feel like those different struggles like it kind of makes the friendship struggle do you feel like this is a friendship I would want to really pursue and be intentional about, or it's just like, ma'am, our struggles, n- what are you with? Let, let it just be. Or how do you feel about it? I think, I think that just some things I'm like, you know what, there's no, there's just really no point in developing this okay. because this is a mentality that they have. Mm-hmm. And if I'm telling you, let's say for just i'm just going to throw a random example let's just say i'm a fan of vanilla ice cream Mm -hmm. because it works best for my digestive system Mm -hmm. and you're like okay but there are all these other ice creams which are just as good it's the same ingredients nini nini it's just a different flavor Mm -hmm. now nizile's are okay now is it my job to convince you why i can only eat mm. vanilla ice cream mm-hmm. i hope mm-hmm. i'm making sense here. yeah I feel like <laughs> no, no i feel you i hear you yeah I and so i'm just you. like nisawa i mean there's no hard feelings yeah if it's just it is what it, it is. is what it is if we're just work friends nisawa nikikuona kwa ofisi mm-hmm. and then when i go home yeah inaishi hapo it's okay it's okay nisawa. yeah now with my african-american friends mm-hmm. I found I when, I when I came to America I came to find out there are two different types of African Americans. Mm-hmm. There's the proper yo-yo, the ones we see on TV sagging, nini with the with the, <laughs> green, the, the tattoos on <laughs> the neck. It's <laughs> ozote. There's that one and then there are the more polished ones if mm. I'm allowed to say that. Mm. Like they grew up in a good neighborhood, um they went to good schools, even just how they articulate themselves. You're like, "Oh, okay." You na- you have some form of gedomo with you. Mm-hmm. You understand, mm-hmm. and so those are the people I found myself relating more with, as opposed to the ones who we stereotype and see on TV. Because especially with those ones, uh, the, with the ones who had a type of a rough childhood, and that's that is their current situation. Eh. They, they think different. You know, <laughs> they think different. And it's I, harder to be friends. It's harder to... It's harder to be friends. Yeah. And then also, somehow, not some, some of the things they do, mm-hmm. it's just something I cannot accept. And that's fine. Yeah. And that's perfectly fine because you are who you surround yourself yeah, with. Exactly. So at the end of the day, mm. if somebody's lifestyle, regardless of who they are or what color they are, yeah. their lifestyle, the things they do, their belief system and everything like that, you don't agree with, mm. there's no reason for you to try and bond, build a friendship. You can be nice. I mean, you don't have to categorize them as your friends. Like You yeah. don't have to be intentional because again, they have all those things that they do. It, it will it will in affect you mm-hmm. in some type of way. Or yeah, form. It yeah, it will. It will. And um, I don't know. Just the person I am, I like to befriend anyone and everyone if I can. Okay. And so when I find myself avoiding that group of people, mm-hmm. I feel so. I feel like I'm looking down upon them, and I really shouldn't mm. because that's just unfortunately how the system has that's the system that there was a system created for them to mm-hmm. keep them in that certain that's box, so unfortunate yeah you know mm-hmm. and again with my kenyan mentality of I'm, i've come here to hustle i've come here to make a name for myself i'm coming here yeah. to make money and 
rise above one, two, three, mm-hmm. and then you come across this person who is in the system, depends on the system, mm-hmm. stays in that box. Mm. <sighs> we really don't have much to talk about. And I'm, I, should you feel guilty about having that? I think or I feel guilty about looking down upon them. Like okay. I know better. Like I mm. know it's a it's a mentality slash caste slash mm. generational issue. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So I I definitely know better. Mm-hmm. Um, what can I do about it? I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep I don't going. know. I no, I know. think I think it's good to just like be friendly with everybody, yeah. but know that you are not meant to be friends with everybody. Because mm. I feel like it's perfectly fine for you to protect your your own, yeah. especially if you feel. Because I I don't know me. This is me speaking for myself. I protect my energy, energy not your even space. just energy, my space very mm. much. If I feel like I I don't agree with one. I'm I'm going to selfishly protect that, but that doesn't mean that I can't have conversations with you or something. And maybe just another point I wanted to add on to that was like uh, you, I have to be in a position to separate or like uh, make sure every person that I come across with, I put them in the right box. Yes. Yeah, so I am selfish about my space, my people, my family Mm -hmm. very careful me just say careful about who i let into my space yeah but i know one i know as a christian i need to have a bigger heart to open to everybody Mm -hmm. but like my husband puts it this way this if you have a home there's people you allow into your living room but you don't allow everybody into your bedroom there's rooms you don't open for everybody so i I always need to have the mentality of everybody is open to come in mm-hmm. to have conversations and whatever but ha- how vulnerable I can get with you mm-hmm. then it takes time for me to build that I yeah. think that that's my my go to when it comes to building friendships but I am hopeful to make more diverse friends <laughs> I am very comfortable and confident with the friends I have now yeah. but I am definitely open to be meeting diverse being that especially married people I just yeah. want to see how do what struggles do white people have then <laughs> <laughs> you know even just other other yeah. cultures I just I just I just I need to I need to have what are that. you fighting about in your house exactly exactly <laughs> have the struggles the same it actually <laughs> is um I'm speaking from just my friendship circle of mm-hmm. my married friends mm-hmm. uh we have let's see most Actually, yeah, majority of them are yeah. African Americans. Mm. The uh, the couple friends that we have. Okay. Actually, I'm honestly the only Kenyan, mm. or let me say African, mm-hmm. for that bit. Now that I'm really you thinking think through that it, yeah. group, uh-huh. and yeah, we we all have the same issues. Oh, Communication. Yeah. You know, somebody <laughs> didn't do what. Did you? The socks were left where. <laughs> Marriage is marriage. Marriage is marriage. <laughs> and now for the Wazungus, now I don't know. Mm. I'm here to befriend a, a a white couple. Yeah. But let me ask you: Do you do like uh, couple marriage couple conferences? We have again. I go to a predominantly Kenyan church, and the people that predominantly come are Kenyans. Kenyans. So that you is are why to my blame. circle still stays. I don't say blame because I love the community. I yeah. I really love the church and I love a community, but I see the importance of that diversification. Mm-hmm. So I I'm I'm not open to moving to another church yeah. because again we are planted there, we are ministering there. So this the chance of going to another church is now. But mm-hmm. going to other couple conferences like EXO conference yeah. by Gateway or marriage conference that uh one community has, absolutely open to go. And if okay. we meet a great couple that we get to that's what we are looking so for. So as you're saying you're open to look uh, open to going for those conferences. Mm-hmm. Who is the one doing the talking? You or your husband? What do you mean talking? Talking to other couples. Or him. He does the talking. He's extra <laughs> 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 he'll go make the friends for us he'll okay. go but of um, oh okay <sighs> i hate small talk jerry guy me small talk oh. jesus oh my god if there are things i oh. yes small talk makes me want to just like really? I, I yeah i can't but mm. because i know how important this is for us i'll step out of my comfort zone for that one hey, um, yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> when, when can we follow up? Let me let me make you accountable. I'll tell you the next time there's a conference, we'll go and be like, mm. okay, yes. No, I'll I'm going to look for one this weekend. <laughs> this weekend, I'll send it to you. I think I've done mine. For I, I'm the one who looked for you. I'm the one who should measure that. Yes, is one for the entire <laughs> year. <laughs> one per year. <laughs> I think we can. Start no, no, there. no, 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 no. <laughs> But anyway, it's our, yeah. it's our. But I'm so one. I'm gonna say I'm so grateful to you. Thank you for uh, accept because I was I was so hesitant. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're gonna say. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I, I would hate to be a man. I don't know how men do it, like with approaching. I don't know how yeah. you do it, but it felt, but it's so good to be doing this with you. And I think we're not just building a friendship. We're also building, you know, if we talk a lot about marriage and everything. We get to really help each other out in yeah. that uh, aspect. So I'm grateful. Gosh, guys, that's what, how do you even respond to that? We can't be able. <laughs> See, I, I feel, I feel something. <laughs> I feel something. But no, thank you for this opportunity as well. Yeah. To get ma- to get our voices out. Absolutely. People are watching our content. I'm surprised people are watching our content. Are you surprised? For I me? genuinely am. Okay. Let me l- let me be honest. It's how not I being cocky, how I went into this thing, mm-hmm. I was like Nizeleza. Okay, we'll post videos and we'll only have twenty views, <laughs> and I need to be okay with that. <laughs> I don't need to be catching feelings, but the fact that our first two videos have at least a hundred views, yeah, I'm like, any there are hundred people out there who sat down and watched oh. all we said. You know, and you might see like it's small, but try to put two hundred people in a room to talk to. Mm. Try try visualize that. Yeah. Whenever even like my videos don't, I'm like those two hundred people. Mm-hmm. Try how could, where could you have gotten them? Mm. You know. So I think we are doing. So I, and I, at the end of the day, it's like I love what it is that we are doing. Yeah. Even if we sat here and we got zero views, I love this. Yes. This is like therapy for me. <laughs> like I <laughs> just. <laughs> 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 But I'll pay my dues. Yes. This is literally therapy for me. So Aww. I love doing this. And I keep and I really hope you guys are enjoying what we are doing and we want to give you more value for your time because yes. you're not paying for this. <laughs> By the way, we're going to start those time. what do what do those people nini? Those are guys say Naitango. The subscriptions, Ama? Yeah, uh. but there's a name for it. It's oh gosh, ni how but Nisawa, sorry, continue. Oh, it's okay. Membership, I'm trying to... Do. Yeah, it's one of those where they're like, um, cameo, eh, not cameo. It's one of those where they say, ah. okay, guys, this, and if you want exclusive content, make sure <laughs> you subscribe to this <laughs> website of ours. It has specific... Coming soon. Mm-hmm. Coming soon. But the ones who've been trading with us from the beginning, we're taking you for free all from the, the way. From the beginning. <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that conversation about friends. And now... Girl chat. She's a dancer, not me, and she's a singer, not me. It is well. It's we. It's how we balance. How we balance. Has to be a balance. So, what I watched this past week was Love Is Blind after the altar. Oh my god! And. I'm happy to see Bougie Brett and his wife are still together. Mm-hmm. I forget names. So oh, na- uh, yeah, the the black, the the Browns. Yeah, the yes, Browns? the Browns, the Browns, mm-hmm. meet the Browns. Yes, mm-hmm. they are still together. Happy about that. That's good. And who else? Who else was I? What about uh Kwame? Kwame and I his didn't madame. watch it, but I mem- I watched the season, but I didn't watch the after. Yes, the yes, mm-hmm. they are still together. Okay, I am very surprised that they are still <laughs> Everybody together. Everybody is surprised, and you know what? That's great for them. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm for truly them. happy. Like in the beginning, I was like, hey, these ones are not going to make it to the altar. I really didn't think they would either. But then again, you know those Netflix producers, even you guys. If you know a Netflix producer, please tell him to relax. I know. You, even if he's giving us drama, you gave... I know. Because they painted such a bad picture for them. They and maybe did. they were just normal, but they're like, ah, we need to have an evil villain in, yeah. this, in this season. Yeah. And then they made it look like Chelsea wanted him more than he wanted exactly. her. Exactly. And usually in such circumstances they don't go far 
exactly so yeah i'm pretty happy that they're still together mm-hmm. actually all the married couples who married in that season they're all still together one year that's later that's good so uh, even uh, what was his name? this guy who looks like one of the the property brothers what was oh his name? i know who you're talking the lawyer guy the lawyer guy I know yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah i forgot their names and i'm so good with names i think it's because i haven't watched them in a long time mm. but that's good that's good that, um, i feel like that there has been more success yeah. with that show than the entire <laughs> Bachelorette and Bachelor. Oh, you've come for them. You I'm have coming come for them for because them. they don't get married. Like very few people get married. And I think maybe if Bachelor or Bachelorette ended with must marriage, then maybe just maybe the statistics would be different maybe yeah you know yeah because i'm like why this i mean and maybe really it's the fact that you don't see the person so build you build such a strong Mm -hmm. like emotional uh relationship with them before you see them physically yeah i think that really does play a role because that's there's more success in love is blind Mm. than there is in the entire 20 something seasons of the bachelor and the bachelorette mm, that's true and then also in the bachelor and bachelorette mm-hmm. you have options to me that's options. where you're confused that's it that's where you get i confused. mean even with love is blind you kind of have a little option you're allowed to date in the beningi yeah but by the time you're telling someone i love, I love you, you and i want to marry you and yeah? i want to be with you mm-hmm. you only have that, that one, one person. person yeah in bachelor bachelorette you can tell 10 people that you love them but at the end of the day, you need to give out a rose. Yeah. yeah. So and that is why Charity was so conflicted. Broken. Because she was actually in love with more than one person. Which shows <laughs> that they are more than one person for you. <laughs> so but you choose the one and you go with them forever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you, so you say how you've been watching TV, uh, different oh people's show. Oh my God. Uh, no, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to be judged for my trash TV self choice. No trash TV is therapeutic but in a way. I am heavy on 90 Day Fiance mm-hmm. and The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, I miss it. <laughs> I miss it. This season. But I, oh my God, I don't even know what to say. I so much. Mm-hmm. I really did. I, if you haven't watched it, I'm sorry for the spoilers. I'm really sorry. But the whole. <laughs> Like Drew Sidora and Ralph Pittman mm. divorce. Just ah, a, a they divorced. Mess. They did. Wow. They did. Oh, and then they made it mm, seem like surprised? you know the producers are like, "Are you ready to talk?" You know in the interview. Are you ready to talk yeah. about Ralph? Yes. Are you ready to talk about it? Yes. And then they build this anticipation. Oh my God, we're gonna mm. know the tea. And then after they start, mm. okay, let me call my lawyer and see if I can talk about this. Can I talk about it? no? And that's it. So you build all that anticipation for us to say that they're going to talk about it, but then they come in and like, no, my lawyer says I can't really mm. delve into it. But it was so sad that it came to that. It was such Ooh. a toxic end. Ooh. But we all saw it coming. Like yeah. uh, towards the end, it was just bad. And I'm all for seeing black love on TV working. Yes. I'm all for it. That's why mm. I'm like Sanya and um, Aaron Ross rooting for them yeah. but yeah drew she's and pregnant yeah and she's pregnant okay she that's is good. pregnant that's yeah good. for that's baby good. number that's two good. i'm happy for them i really hope that uh because and the thing is you can pinpoint where it goes wrong because mm. they were in therapy and then he stopped going to therapy mm. and you can just see the 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 resistance yeah. to change mm. that was with the that that he had yeah and that was just the detriment of their their problem wow. that says if you if you don't allow yourself to change you don't see yourself as a problem mm. you will never go anywhere in a relationship really you have to see the problem that you create as a person if you want to make the world a better place take a look at yourself and then make that change change i don't know <laughs> the song but <laughs> Nila, yeah, michael jackson i'm standing I don't to at michael the jackson. man in the mirror anyway that's a great way to end this episode <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so my god to do we've talked <laughs> thank you so much for watching yet another episode of maju diaries make sure you like 
subscribe and share please do <laughs> please do yani ni mimi nasema hivyo and the way is to mock the youtuber oh my god ha. look at you now <laughs> look at you now soliciting the views <laughs> share please <laughs> please guys subscribe. please do. i mean again i say if you watch this far that means you already love us you already you already here please just subscribe you might as well you might as Una well <laughs> and then hit that bell so that you always you get notified yeah. every time we post a video and then mm-hmm. i think we should do a giveaway anymore okay we should do a giveaway we give away yes okay uh, is coming soon coming next soon. episode <laughs> next episode <laughs> next episode thank you guys i hope you enjoyed we'll see you on the next one yes and here are our handles and please please guys i keep, i look at my gmail no i look at our gmail <laughs> every day wait to see if somebody has written us an email i can please write us an email please <laughs> please, please write <laughs> us an email for <laughs> jenny's sake here's our email <laughs> my juice diaries at gmail.com <laughs> <laughs>